Good day everyone. Let's talk about self-love. Self-love has many benefits. The first benefit is greater life satisfaction. When we love ourselves, more we instantly change our perspective of the world. Self-love can give us a more positive attitude towards life. Another important benefit of self-love is better mental health. Let me share to all of you. I have experienced one day at the age of 17, feel incompetent, unloved, and inadequate. I am consistently afraid about making mistakes or letting other people down. The harder part was I was felt that no one besides me, no one loves me, even though my family, no self-love at all. Self-love is not selfish. Truly, self-love is not selfish. You cannot truly love one another until you know how to love yourself. As a breadwinner of your family, who always sacrifices in all aspects, who is always giving all the way you have is called love. As a breadwinner, do you have insurance for your own? If you do not have it, that is not defined as love. Why? All because you did not love yourself at first. Because you do not have protection from financial loss. How are your loved ones deaf that depend on you? I choose this topic to share my experience to all of you especially for the one who was also experiencing this kind of situation, who was losing their self-love. I would like to tell you that it's never too late to have it. Do you believe that self-love is not selfish? Remember, brothers and sisters, self-love is not selfish. You cannot truly really love one another until you know how to love yourself. As a parent, you cannot truly really love your spouse your children if you did not love yourself. A parent needs to be healthy, happy, and courageous so that they can give love also for their family. Imagine, you did not sleeping well and you already have the darkest eye bags. Then you are asking for your children to sleep well? Your children will be definitely confused and will not listen to you. Let us know, brothers and sisters, that we are the temple of Holy Spirit. He is living in all of us and was given to us by God. We did not belong to ourselves. That is the first reason why we need to love ourselves. Imagine we abuse ourselves. It was very shameful in the eyes of our God who gave us this life. We must always remember that it's never too late. A 27 years old woman who was a servant of God, she was part of ministry by teaching the children of the word of God and was completely satisfied with all she had. She gave all love for her family, for her ministry, for her job, and also for her studies. She was satisfied with all that she had and she already knew how to give and give only to love others because she did not mind about her life but has no assurance what her future will bring. But then one day, God gave her a big test in her life. She felt she could not hold it. She wanted to surrender because of the biggest test that she ever had. But by the grace of our God, instead she lose herself, instead she lose her life, God made her stronger and stronger. That was the time she knew loving self is very important because God lives on us and we are the temple of God. She realizes that we must also love ourselves because it belongs to our God. Brothers and sisters, the main purpose of self-love is not being selfish. Self-love is an exercise so that God allow us to live better and make our mission here on earth accomplish. Self-love makes us a better person, a better mother, a better worker, a better student, and a better servant of our God. Self-love makes us happy, courageous, satisfied, and give us peace of mind. Remember, self-love is not selfish. Self-love is true love. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my speech. Love yourself and God bless us all.